In this video, I'll be looking at division with remainders. This is typically something we introduce in grade three and four, um, but of course it can happen before that if students are, are ready. So we've got 38 divided by three. We always start with the biggest number when we're doing division. So in this case, three divided by three is one, and then eight divided by three. I can't do evenly. So this highlights the importance of students knowing their multiplication facts where they would know, well, six divided by three is two, and this is bigger than six, but it doesn't quite get to the next increment in the three times tables, which is nine. So I know that eight divided by three will give me two, and there's two left over. And this can be expressed in a number of ways. So the other option when we're expressing our remainders is to express it as a fraction. And we know that when we type this into a calculator, we wouldn't get a remainder. We would get a, de a long decimal answer often. Um, and that's really what we're building towards in students, that understanding that we can't actually have a remainder. We've actually got to divide the whole number. So uh, for, early, for early understanding, we're going to use a numerator and a denominator in the fraction. So the numerator being the number on the top and the denominator being the number on the bottom in a fraction. For example, numerator, denominator. So here, the, rem the number that we had as the remainder would be the numerator, and the number that we initially divided by would be the denominator. So what I can see is that 38 divided by 3 is actually 12 and 2 thirds.